everybody. Welcome to Creative Bug. We're coming at you live like we always do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I have two fabulous guests in the studio this week, <laughs> Sabrina and Eunice Moyle of Hello Lucky. Um, if you're familiar with Creative Bug, they are longtime fabulous instructors on our site. And you guys have had a whole range of career. You've been card illustrators and makers for over a decade. We've been mm -hmm. busy. You did <laughs> weddings. You've done books, um, yep. stationary lines, yep. product. You've got the best designs ever. And you have some really new, exciting things happening. Yes. Tell me about your new. newest book. So we're super excited about our new book, Happy Mail. It is a book that is in intended to inspire teens and tweens to get into the act of writing letters and creating cards and connecting with their friends and Secret tapping into their creativity through. through. Yeah. This is awesome. So hopefully you guys can see this. So it looks like there are some really cool templates in the back. Mm -hmm. These you can tear out. Yep, they're tear out. You can go ahead and send them. There's some that you can color in. There's self-mailing letters <gasps> that you can put in. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So do you have to be an expert illustrator to do these cards? That was the whole point of this book is that it's all like highlighters. I mean, literally, my one of my favorite, favorite tools is um, kids' temper paints, especially oh. in neon. So it's all like watercolors, temper paints, um, you it. know, some pens, gel pens. My favorite are those uh, neon uh, Sakura jelly roll pens. I'm I a big fan it. of those. Mm -hmm. And white on black and Sakura jelly roll pens as well. These are and so like cute. cut paper, like Astro, that, that Astro paper, the Astro Bright paper that you get yeah. at Kinko's. Like that's like. I love it. Mm -hmm. Lots of neon. Totally my jam. So mm -hmm. I love yeah. this. You've got some tips, right? Yeah, some we've got some tips. tips and sort of why bother writing a letter? What's in it for you? How do you how do you mail a letter? How do you address an envelope? There's writing prompts. There's ideas for different letters that you can write that are tied to our write on campaign. Ideas for lots of cheesy puns. Lots of cheesy puns. We're big fans yeah. of puns. Yeah. And every yeah. April we do a campaign called Write On where we encourage everybody to do um, 30 letters in 30 days and we do that with Egg Press and so there's a, like 30 different um, letter writing prompts in there too. This is awesome. So I'm gonna let them kind of kick it off. You guys have a project from the book to actually show we us. We do indeed. And so people should have your their paints ready but any paints will work. Watercolor, yeah, I mean any paints will work. I'm using watercolors like these adorable little like kids watercolors that you get pretty much at any craft store. Awesome. Um, but yeah, anything, temper paints, whatever whatever cool. you have on hand, really. And remember, we are live, so write in and ask them questions because they have a lot of great, uh, great things to say about the new book. Okay, cool. so start us. Cool. Awesome. Shall I go ahead and start the card? Yeah, go All ahead. All right, I'm going to start going. So this is the Wildly Grateful Thank You card, which involves this fabulous cheetah. And it's one of my favorite styles of illustration, which is basically like draw a blob and then decorate it. <laughs> Super chill and easy. And uh, the sort of naive style is is what makes it cool so it's great because you don't have to get all hung up with you know being really exact and perfect about it so you can pencil this in if you feel a little bit unsure but i just kind of go and go for the blob so do a little circle for the uh, for the head and then just uh keep on going with the body and just a little blobby body with a chest area here and just keep adding watercolor to get nice rich color but yeah as you can see it's like super Making simple and basic brush you're using like any brush highlight. I mean you can use a highlight you don't even have to use a brush frankly like I really like drawing with um, highlighters I'm just a child of the 80s so I love neon <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, highlighters work markers work pretty much anything but you know I, I like the sort of like loosey-goosey watercolor um, style for this, but it's definitely not limited to to uh, mm -hmm. the whole watercolor thing. Yeah. And in this project, we chose a cheetah for the theme Wildly Grateful, but you right. can also choose a different animal if you want. Totally. In the book, we have a couple different suggestions, like Tank You, which is a pun on an aquarium, so you could draw a fish, which are super Puns simple. Puns are the best, that's <laughs> why. To, to draw, or thanks a ton, with an elephant, so you could do an elephant blob shape and then add some Fun. flowers and stuff around that, or a tiger you slay, very similar silhouette to the to the cheetah. So Our entire card other. line is basically based on like terrible puns and, yes. and like slang. Yeah, exactly. I love <laughs> Pretty it. Much. And if people want to win a copy of the book, we're doing a giveaway. Mm -hmm. So just uh, tag a friend in the comments, like and share this, and you can be entered to win. We're going to pick a winner on Friday. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm adding this sort of the sun and the flowers. So the flowers are just like asterisks, so nothing fancy at all. And I'm just sort of placing them kind of around uh, to give myself, I'm giving myself enough room for the lettering, but um, but I'm just kind of casually slapping them on there. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so the sun's just a mm -hmm. dot and just uh, tracing some yeah. little circle around it. 
And we've intentionally made all the projects in this book super yeah. simple with, with art supplies no, that no. hopefully you have lying around the house. Totally. In case you do. So the, the, yeah, the upshot is that if you're an adult, these, these projects should be super simple for you. If you're a teen or a kid, they should also be totally accessible to but you. But also too. limiting sort of the roadblocks to getting a letter out, right? Yeah, so it's like totally. fun to do because you get to make your own card and make it really creative. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't spend like a week working on this project and right. then never finish it, maybe right. never get the letter written. Yes. So it's or sort of actually needing to like bedazzle or like add all kinds of like <laughs> no need to learn how to bedazzle. intricate like details. These are all very simple and they totally. won't get yeah, you won't have extra postage in terms of mailing them and stuff like that. Totally. So, so here's my my um, leopard base. Mm -hmm. um, and now I have one that's already dry because you know, mm -hmm. who wants to wait? But and, and then move on to the next one. Oh yes. Can, can I ask you a question? You can actually sure. ask a question. So, Three M wants to know some insider information. What is your favorite type of paper for cards, ah. and where do you get them? From? Ah, that's a good question. I so mean, we love using Mohawk paper. That's yeah. what all of our cards are printed on. It's like nice and toothy, but also smooth enough that you can you can do crafting on it. These are this project is done on just a folded card from Paper Source, so that that's kind of nice because normally when we start one of these projects, we'll cut it out of paper and then score it and fold it down. It'll eliminate steps to just get some pre-folded cards and they mm -hmm. have those in matching envelopes in different colors at paper source but what else i mean that being said pretty much any cardstock yeah will do i mean yeah so you're not using watercolor paper here not you? using watercolor paper and cool. nothing fancy i mean you know it'll probably get a little wibbly because that's what watercolor will do to a paper that's not watercolor but in my mind that's sort of what makes it charming is that it's not yeah. this perfect thing. Right. That said, you do um, want to use a card stack. This is probably yes. like an 80 pound card stack. If you use text weight paper, it will get really wibbly and it won't really yeah. look that I nice. would say 80 to 110 pound card stock is mm -hmm. great. Any heavier, it starts getting difficult to fold and any lighter, it gets a little bit flimsy. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, but it's, it's whatever you can get sort of, I mean, even at a Walgreens or something, you know, like a drugstore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once your uh, leopard is, or cheetah is dry, then yep. you're gonna add some detail. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of lightly pencil in where I want the lettering to be just to make sure I don't run out of room. Um, so, and you know, just with just lightly pencil it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the style that she's using is a brush lettering technique. Um, so I'm just going to flip to the front of the book now and show you. In the front of the book, we give you several different lettering techniques that so you show you the entire letter alphabet. So the, and then there's a page where you can practice it. So this is the brush lettering technique that we use on a lot of our greeting cards. Um, but there's also some other ones like an open alphabet and ribbon alphabet. So you can learn some new hand lettering techniques at the beginning of the book. Pinterest is a great resource. If you look up typography, for example, you can find all kinds of really fun things. And I learned how to do all of these types of um, typography, frankly, from just finding stuff I liked and copying it and trying it and trying yeah. different versions of it. And eventually you kind of mash it all up and it totally. becomes sort of your thing. Yeah. But, totally. um, but yeah, but I'm a big fan of looking around at other yeah. people's stuff and like, yeah. you know, and I'd say that's the same for learning like skills about, from people. Yeah. I mean, thinking about the design of the card and like what different types of animal silhouettes. I mean, Pinterest is a great mm -hmm. yeah. resource, particularly looking at illustrators work instead of photographs, like, you know, yeah. looking at illustrators. Or just getting ideas cool for like how, designs. yeah, different ways you could draw an eye or different yeah. ways you could approach it instead of, you know, looking at a photograph and maybe getting stuck in like sort of a real yeah. realism thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. No, it's fun. There's so many amazing creative people out there. It's mm -hmm. really fun to get inspired yeah. on Pinterest for sure. Um, okay, so here I have the letters um, penciled in so I know I have enough space. And so I'm using um, this particular brush pen. It's a Tombow brush pen. I also really like this Pigma um, brush pen. It's really fun as well. I might use that for some smaller details. Um, so this is a really simple um, technique. You basically just start at the top and push down. So you use more pressure to get a fatter line and then you pull up and, use, and just use the tip to get a thinner line. So I kind of try to like vary the thin, the weight. And again, I don't get too hung up on whether it's perfect or not. I just like, you know, fat and then maybe thin. And I also like doing the letters like all different sizes to just kind of fill the space. Um, and as you can see, I'm not really following my, my own lettering that well, but um, this is what an eraser is for later. But yeah, I like to be really like chill about it and not get too caught up in the details. But again, so here I'm pushing down to get a fatter line and then going in with just the tip to get a thinner line. And here I'm going to try to stay a little tighter to what I actually drew so I don't run out of room at the end. But yeah, so this Tombow pen is super fun. So there you go. And then after that, I'm going to add all kinds of little details. So there are all these like leaves and little dashed lines. I'm a big fan of the dashed line for filling in details. Mm -hmm. So. To do this, I'm just drawing a line and then kind of just using 
different sort of amounts of pressure to get fatter and thinner leaves. Um, you know, just kind of have fun with it, really. I love how freeform that is. Yeah, it's just like, it's really not fancy. It doesn't require a lot of skills. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll use some, a little bit of a finer one. these brush pens make it so easy yeah. to do this technique. You wouldn't be able to do this with like a ballpoint pen or even a marker. Like totally. these pens, it's really worth having the right material yes, to be able to do this style. absolutely. And just for people watching at home, those were the Tombow brush pen and yeah. also the Sakura Pigma brush Pigma pen. Pigma brush pen, mm -hmm. which is a little bit of a finer tip, so it gives you a little bit of a smaller detail, which is nice for these little dots and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we so, yeah. have Michaela from Sakura doing a lettering challenge on, Ooh. on oh, awesome. Creative Books. Great. So she's super talented. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. awesome. If you need a reminder on your down, thick, up, thin, she's the one to do it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. totally. Yes, totally. completely. So, I yeah, love that so. you guys have your templates in the front of the book. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah totally, totally. Yeah. So, yes. so the reason we wrote this book was really to inspire young people to get offline and to connect with their friends more deeply through through writing letters and, and through creating cards. Um, I just feel like particularly people who are growing up now with screens and stuff like that, they're not necessarily learning how to write letters or getting to the habit of writing letters and maybe missing out on how awesome it can be to receive a letter. So a big part of the book in the front is really just explaining to people why, why this is so cool, why bother, like what's in it for you, um, why is it so special. And for example, we, we talk about how a letter is something that's so unusual these days that when somebody actually gets one, they're super stoked to get one. And it's, it's, a, also, it's a painting. It's a painting basically, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what we love it for creativity too because it's not daunting like it, the can the size of the canvas is really small yeah. so you can do something really small you can send it to your friend it's practical it's like, like it has an, an actual application and use somebody gets it they get to you know you get to you get feedback on on what they thought of your artwork and it's it's a functional art um, yeah, and um, it's also private. Like we, we, you think about like in the world of social media, a lot of the stuff that we post in texts and things like that often can be one to many. And this, like a letter, is something that is one to one. It's private. It's personal. You can deepen your relationships by being a little bit, sharing a little bit more than you might feel comfortable sharing on social media if you want to go to the trouble of like writing a more in-depth letter. That that said, we're also super fans of just like a really quick, fun, light note. You know, it doesn't yeah. have to be. Um, I'm, a, a as someone who's less now. verbose, I like to, I like to <laughs> frankly just like write one really simple thing, like I had fun today, yeah. and just write huge yeah. on the inside totally, of totally. the card and just fill the whole card up yeah. and then doodle around it and just have it be like a fun thing that you just get in the mail randomly. I don't know. Yeah. Just kind of, you know, they know you're thinking of them. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I'm also so. a really big fan of drawing these sort of little, like funny, sort of kind of Matisse inspired blobs. I feel like that's a big trend these days, yeah. these like funny. Blobs. So this is. So I did little leaves. I did little dots. I did some little leaves that are more like little round dots added to a stem, and some of these little kind of more blobby pseudo bush shapes. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. Can you remind everybody when the book comes out? The book is it's already out. out. It's, out. it's in stores now, so it's available at Joann's. It's also available at Barnes & Noble, local booksellers like Books Inc. here in San Francisco. Obviously, you can find it on Amazon, so if you Google Happy Mail Book or just go to Amazon and search for Happy Mail Book, it'll be the first thing that pops up. Awesome. Um, so we'd love, we'd love feedback and reviews um, for this. We're working on our follow-up book for this now, too. Um, it's called Be the Change, and it's about using creativity and similar sort of crafted projects that are targeted at young people to get involved in community service and civic action. So I love that. So you have a, really, you have a yeah, cover here's there. the cover, yeah. So we're really excited to hear back from our fans and readers about what they liked about Happy Mail so we can kind of incorporate it into what we're doing for Be the Change, which comes out in March. I love that. Okay, so now you're adding detail to your Now cheetah. I'm adding details to the cheetah and like maybe for the eyes I might like pencil it in just to make sure I don't end up with like eyes on the side of the face or something weird. Um, so it gives it gives you a chance to recover if you don't get it right the first time. So here I'm just gonna like pencil in a little cheetah face. Try to make him not look too mean. <laughs> yeah, those eyebrows are important for that. Yeah, the eyebrow, that little smile, you know, once you put a smile on there, he's <laughs> a little perkier, but, um, but yeah, and then I just pencil in and we'll go back in and erase any stray pencil lines with, a, with an eraser afterwards, but. Yeah, I love the simplicity of the marker, but you get the thick and the thin lines mm -hmm. with the brush, so cool. Yeah, so there you go, and then uh, yeah, and then just add some details and some spots and fill in like the end of the tail. But yeah, like you know, and here maybe the spots are a little bit harder to do with a brush pen. So the nice thing about the Tombow is it has this regular smaller pen um, at the at the other side, so you can do just like little like cheetah dots. Point. And yeah, it's like a fine point felt tip pen, so it's a little more um, stiff and less flexible for so cute. getting a tighter, smaller. Oh, of course, don't forget the little claws. 
And you guys both have families and your kids are little yes. oh, yeah. I know they're young right now. Yes. But yes. it sounds like with moms as encouraging as you yeah. are. Totally. Well, they see us doing it. I mean, obviously, you know, letter writing is something that ha doesn't, it's not like it happens every day. You know, even for us, we do this a fair amount, but it's not, it's not like we, I think it's realistic to expect people to write letters all the time. But when you do take the time to write a letter, it is so meaningful. Um, so yeah, our kids do like to write letters and my, make cards. My mother-in-law loves it when she gets a, yeah. a, a drawing from my son or my daughter uh, yeah. in the mail. So Yeah, my five-year-old participated in the Write On Challenge last year. So he wrote a letter every day to like teachers and his friends. Yeah. And oftentimes, like I'll show you some of the examples. Like we had a Happy Mail um, party last week and there were a bunch of younger kids there, much younger than this is intended for. But one of my um, my um, son's friends made him this car inspired, card inspired by the When It's Dark, Look for Stars card, which uses the career jelly roll pens on black paper so you know sometimes the cards end up looking like this like super yeah, simple but they're inspired awesome anyway. by the book you know um, we had another girl who wrote made this um, card that said I, I love happy mail I love your book it inspires me love Safina and she made this one as well you're magical so we part we, we yeah we made these projects really loose and and open-ended because we want people of all ages to just be able to get inspired by them and do their own thing not necessarily having to literally um, literally kind of follow what's there but as an example I felt amazing getting these cards mm -hmm. from this little girl I was like oh my gosh we inspired you that's so cool so that's how people feel when they get a handwritten letter it's like very personal um, it really is like almost always makes their day so we just want to like let people know that this is mm -hmm. a really fun thing you can tap into and it's really easy I love it and it's, it seems like I mean Eunice definitely looks like she's having fun she's oh yeah totally. it's like it's very like sort of zen well, and like zen. you just get into yeah. it and you like, know yeah. get on a roll and it's really fun totally I'm it's very uh, meditative yeah, yeah. and I love I love just like sort of filling in all the little white spaces with little details. I mean, you know, so what, whatever you feel like, what, maybe a flower over here. And yeah. then you have this, like what you call a faux envelope liner. Oh yeah, so that's my, my other little trick to kind of add a little extra flair to the, um, the whole experience. So this is an envelope liner I did and it's very easy. So you just, I mean, again, like you're just doing the same sort of shapes, but using watercolor um, to just sort of fake an envelope liner. It just adds like another level of detail to the um, the whole package, shall we say. So it looks like you're using kind of similar motifs. Mm -hmm. Similar motifs. I'm really, I like, I like drawing moons right now. I'm in, in a moon phase, no pun intended. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but yeah, so like moons and stars. I'm always doodling stars on everything. So this is just a, an extension of my standard doodling themes. <laughs> but yeah, and so basically what I do is I end up just like painting, filling in with paint all the way up to the edge to kind of give it a fake sort of uh, liner feel. Well, okay. see. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so I go right up to the edge and then, um, and I, you know, fill in with little dashed lines and asterisk stars. And we do have yeah. some people who want to know how much the book is. Sure. Mm -hmm. I think the list price is fourteen ninety five, I believe, um, but it is available obviously for less on Amazon. <laughs> But, it's exciting, uh, so it's affordable for the teen yeah, budget. Yeah, totally we, affordable we for the teen yeah. budget. I really feel like it's a great gift for birthdays and for teenage girls for birthdays mm -hmm. and Christmas because there's not that much out there actually to yeah. like get for that and age like, group. And like, what a great thing to do with like pairs of friends or groups. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, and we have, did a like, pen pal contest night. over the summer and we had some teens participated and it was really fun to hear. I about feel like the it's definitely very on trend. Like at yeah. our party, one of the favorite um, cards we have a, a poop emoji card that's. Yes. Like, <laughs> You're the poop yes, with a I'll show, I'll hilarious finish. poop emoji, and that was yeah, a there huge it is. hit. Hard eyes for you. So we're also bridging over to social yeah. media, obviously. Like we want it to be relevant. Like you know, cards are really awesome, but they're not I to mean, substitute. No. I'm a 16 year old in my like, adult Instagram body. So. Else. Yeah, exactly. Like this there's is... there's another channel of communication. They're not a substitute. So yeah, yeah, totally. I love it. So I was using, so this is a, um, a Sakura Pigma brush pen. This is the smaller brush pen, uh, which is really great. And then uh, the other one I was using is a Tombow, which is the sort of slightly fatter. This is really great for that big lettering to fill up a lot of space. 
Um, but yeah, so should we do, uh, should we address, like write an actual letter yeah, and show how, to, how we actually do the inside? Mm -hmm. So this is something you have chapters about in the book about what to yes. write in a letter. So what to write in a thank you note, what to write in different types of letters, whether it be apologies, asking for forgiveness, things like that. There's some sample letters. <laughs> Sorry, I was Love. faulty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mother's and Father's Day, what to write in birthday, um, card even. Um, yeah, so those prompts are in there. And then reasons to write a letter, um, which we talked about a little bit. but. I mean, for, for me, a lot of times writing a letter, whether it's a thank you letter or not, or, or a card or not, is it's often just about expressing appreciation and gratitude for the person. You're taking the time to do something like this. You're connecting with them and yeah. feeling grateful for them. Um, so anyway. So this is a thank you card. So this, this is, is this particular one is a thank you card. And here's, this is my technique for filling the whole card with letters <laughs> so that you can like, you don't have to write a whole lot, but it's very fun and meaningful as a result. Yeah. Yeah, and so this is a thank you card we're actually writing to a real friend who just gave me a copy of A Gentleman in Moscow, which I'm really excited to read. Um, oh so she gave it to me, so we're writing to my friend Misty. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I think when you're writing a thank you note for something, a gift that you've received, you're really thanking the person for who they are more so than the physical gift. So it's nice to mention the specific gift and why it was meaningful to you, like whether it was thoughtful or I'm so happy that you thought of me or like you're the only person who would have imagined that I would have liked this or you remembered that I love this or you made my day. Those are some examples of things that you can say in a thank you. Um, but ultimately what I like to write in a thank you even when I'm thanking somebody for a gift is to say, hey, thanks for being my friend. Oh, thanks yeah. for being awesome. You know, I'm so grateful for you. Um, so I like to kind of, regardless of what the note is for, just acknowledge the person for being awesome. And I'm a big fan of just writing things in all different sizes of letters <laughs> and just like filling the space. And if I start running out of room, things just get smaller and it, that's part of the look. That's like sort of my, my signature style for these things. So and I don't really plan it that, ahead. Like, Thick, yeah, thick so down, I'm using the, yeah, the thick up. on the down, uh, lighter on the up, and not always totally light. Um, let's see, what am I doing? Right for the wonderful book. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I just, I mean, I don't stay on a straight line at all. I just kind of fill the whole page with letters. I'm really, I love typography, and so I just think I treat each of the letters just like a little mini drawing, basically. Yeah. I love it. It's so impactful, like to open a card and <laughs> totally. see the whole thing filled with letters. Yeah. Plus, so you cool. know, my handwriting isn't that great normally, so <laughs> this is a great way to hide, like, possibly not so great handwriting. handwriting. Yeah. And you can always write a draft. Like, in this case, I wrote a draft of, you know, what we wanted to write. You can write on a piece of scrap paper and then transfer it over. And here um, I'm like, I don't have enough room for a gentleman, so I'm just going <laughs> to write a little smaller right here. Yeah, and, and, and that's uh, the beauty of writing a letter. It's like there's no backspace, there's no spell check. Like the oh, yeah. point is for it to be quirky, you know? Yep, totally. And it's okay if you mess up. It's totally, it's all good. Even when I was little, I remember writing letters, and then if I'd mess up, I would turn the mess up into like a flower or the sun or just like fill it with doodles. Yeah. So it's just a long uh, standing tradition. Yeah. The other tip I have for like writing a letter, whether it's a card or a longer letter, is just to take a moment before you start writing to just be quiet and think about the person. Like, what is it? Why do you appreciate them? Why are they in your life? Like, why are they your friend? Um, and that allows you to kind of be inspired to write something that doesn't feel forced. Um, so I find letter writing, I mean, I'm personally more of a writer than an art, like than a visual artist. And so I love to write and I find it to be um, just very creative and um, just a great, a great way to connect and also just reflect. I love that. So um, you write the letter and then you give it mm -hmm. to the exactly. Well, and I'm, and I'm not really that much of a writer. I'm more of an artist. So this is why yeah. all of my letters look like that. Where it's like <laughs> the entire page is just like filled with doodles and uh, there's Which not actually awesome. that much on the letter. But it's it, great. I mean, you know, I think yeah. it's good because it sort of, it takes away the barrier to writing a letter where having to think of like a whole exactly. page where you have to say like, yeah, so you know, know you yourself. say thank like you. If you're more of like a doodles. verbal communicator, write more. Yeah. If you're more of a visual communicator, doodle something. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. It's, it really is the thought that counts when somebody gets one, like a letter from or a card from somebody. It's just knowing that somebody took the time and, you know. I also really like to do this there. like um, sort of random underlining style of writing, which um, is sort of for emphasis, but frankly for me, mostly it's just like just for fun. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we have some suggestions in the book of types of letters to write. So a, a letter to your, your future self, you can include ephemera in, in the letter, um, write a letter with a fun activity, ask a friend something that you don't know about them. Um, you can send a letter to a kid who's just learning to read or write. I mean, that's fantastic for kids' literacy. I love that. Um, yeah. So there's a just uh, writing letters to older people too is also super meaningful because a lot of them are not on computers and you know phones and stuff as much. 
Um, we just got a comment from a user who says, my little four-year-old just said, oh, mommy, that cute. Yes. <laughs> so I guess y'all are it. approved. Yay, nice. I love it. Well, that, yeah, we definitely a lot of inspiration from our kids. So. Totally, totally. Yeah, we definitely get inspired because they're just, yeah, they're, they're not inhibited in the same mm -hmm. way. You know, and they're not as distracted. Oh, I see you snuck in a pun in here. I did, yes. Yeah. I see, it's You're the cat's meow. You can never meow. go wrong with a pun. You're the cat's Oops, meow. You are. You're. I'm trying to introduce typos into your, into your letter. Perfect. Yeah, oh, if you, have, uh -huh. if you have kids and you want them to be creative, get the book Beautiful Oops because it's so awesome for teaching them that messing up is okay. And it's super, it's fun, creative book. So Probably it's a beautiful oops. Probably a lot oops. of our adult artists would love that too. <laughs> totally. Yes. Beautiful Oops. Yes. That's Sabrina's official recommendation. Yes. Totally. So I love say, oh, let's see here. I'll do a little X so you can sign it. And yourself. I'll sign it. Thank you for um, lettering. Thank you yes, for personally hand lettering my pen. Well, and here's my, my other thing I really like to do is I love so I love these little Sakura Jelly Roll pens, especially in the neon. So actually, maybe uh, pink is good. I think so. I like to like decorate um, to fill in with doodles. So as you can see, I'm a big fan of the asterisk, asterisks and also little pluses. Oh, it coordinates fun? with your card. The totally. And everything. But you get to use this fun neon pen. So maybe we add a little cat because <laughs> you know why not. But yeah, so I like to add little sort of like funny doodles and uh, just amusing uh, things that the words remind me of. And again, dashed lines, always Good a nice little detail for texture, <laughs> totally. But yeah, so you know, and like hearts, rainbows. Yeah, we just did a, a really fun event in New York. Um, uh, for mixed book, which actually there's a calendar that yes. goes with this there's book. A happy Explain. Mail yes, Happy Mail calendar is coming out. I think next week or even later this week. It's a fully customizable calendar that you can order on mixbook.com, where you can upload your own photos. I love it. And you can. Yeah, it's, it's got really reasons cool. to write and prompts in it. It's in the style of the book, and you can also add obviously your own friends and family members' birthdays and so special fun. occasions mm -hmm. you want to remember to send cards. It's and super cute because you can upload all pictures of your friends or people yeah. you want to write to for yeah. each month. So we'll have to have you guys post the link to that. Oh yeah, yeah we so will for sure. It's a Happy Mail calendar. On mixbook.com. Yeah, this is super fun. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are just joining us at the very end. I'm here with Sabrina and Eunice Moyle of Hello Lucky. Their newest book, which just came out last week, is called Happy Mail. And you can win a copy of this by commenting and sharing in our Facebook page here while we're doing this live, um, which is awesome. And Eunice has been showing us some great lettering tips. This project, the wildly grateful thank you card. And you guys have a new book coming out in the future. In March. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. And this is called Be the Change. Mm -hmm. The future is in your hands. So these books are geared toward teens and tweens. Mm -hmm. But obviously, they're there for everyone. For everyone. Right? Everybody can be yes. inspired. <laughs> Look how cute this is. And you don't even have to, if you're a little bit shy at first, you can even just tear out and use these. Mm -hmm. And then you can warm up to the projects. But they all look really accessible. I love that you have some lettering guides here. Yeah, these are so cool. And of course, if you need more lettering tips, um, just beyond this book, we also have Michaela Sakura of America's Lettering Challenge. Of course, you guys have been using some awesome Sakura products here, they too. They are the best. They're really fun. Thank you guys so much for coming in this Thank week. you so much. Fun. And thank you, everyone who tuned in. Yeah. So we love to hear your feedback, so thank you. Yeah, check it out on Amazon. Leave a comment. Um, let them know because they're fast and furiously working on the next project. Oh, yeah. like <laughs> it never very stops. Very it never yes. stops. We have many projects in the hopper. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye.